All right, hello, welcome to the weather update. It's 9 o'clock, or just about 9 o'clock. It's April 11th, 2021, and we're dealing with the rain today. And you can see, here's what we got going on in the satellite. You can see uh, the stall front right here over us, and you can actually see thunderstorms over Pennsylvania, uh, which corresponds to all these lightning strikes going on over here. So there are some thunderstorms over southeastern Pennsylvania into Maryland. Looks like they're producing a decent amount of, of lightning, too. So we're going to have to look at that on the radar. Uh, and uh, these would be the storms right here. Uh, and uh, you can see here, yeah, they are, there they are, some purple. So I wonder if there's some severe warnings out for these, perhaps. Um, but you can see we're just been dealing with this intermittent rain throughout the day. It's raw, it's getting colder. Uh, uh, the rain is moderate at times, not really, nothing really heavy, but very unpleasant to be out in for sure. Um, and that's just going to linger because we have the stall front. Uh, you can see this is in the this is in the warm sector. That's where all these thunderstorms are going off of. And if we pull this out, you can see your storm right here. Uh, there is your storm right there. Cut off low, uh, and we'll pull this out as well to the North American view. So you get a chance to see your upper level low right here. There it is, spinning around. Uh, let's see if we can actually do a little bit of a better view here. Um, maybe Great Lakes satellite. Maybe I'll show it a little better. Yeah, there's your upper level low right there. Spinning around there. Cut off, uh, cut off low situation. And what we have going on here uh, is we actually have uh, your upper... Let's draw this out so you get an idea here. I mean, we could look at the weather map, but let's just draw this out here. We can make our own. You've got your low right here, your cutoff low right there, uh, and then you have this warm front that's kind of just stuck right here like this, all right? Um, and then we have this cold front, and it's just like this, just stuck. Uh, so this is the warm sector right here, and that's where the thunderstorms are breaking out. Uh, and this is just going to spin around. It's not really going to move much uh, today into tomorrow, so we're going to be stuck in this... Uh, in this uh, to set up what we see is what we get pretty much when it comes to the weather uh, because it is very much stuck in place not moving you look at this you see that upper level low spinning there nothing is really moving uh, because there's no upper level winds to move move it out it's just going to sit there um, so let's go look at the weather map here I don't see any warnings here so uh, I guess there are no warnings for those thunderstorms, but we, we're going to show you the difference in the temperatures and the dew points, and it kind of shows you. Temperatures have dropped now. Uh, it started out closer to 60 degrees earlier today. Now we've dropped into the upper 40s. You can see those east winds, and they're picking up, too, some gusts up to 18 and 21 and 24. Uh, and, and Jersey, too, uh, New, most of New Jersey now also in this cold uh northeastern maritime air uh it's cold damp air we look at the dew points you'll see dew points well they're in the 40s i mean it's it's it but there isn't a big spread between the temperature and the dew point which means the humidity is high um although when you compare it to this warm sector uh the, the warm sector here where these thunderstorms are breaking out you got temperatures in the 60s uh in the mid 60s and dew points up near 62 so it's a, it's a lot warmer there uh, let's go look at the high temperatures for the day, and we'll look at the precipitation as well. So high temperatures, you can see, we managed to get up it, uh, up into earlier on. It was warmer, and we did get up there into uh, uh, the upper 50s to uh, low 60s in some areas before uh, the temperature started dropping because you got this cool air working in from the northeast. That's This warm front is not going to make it past. Um, let's take a look and go look a little further to the south and west and see how far that warm front actually got. And you can see it didn't even make it up to Ocean County, uh, but it did make it up to southwest in New Jersey where they got well up into the 70s. Uh, places like Vineland, 73. Uh, so from Philadelphia, south and west of Philadelphia, well into the 70s. So very warm and kind of muggy, uh, which is why you get these thunderstorms setting up probably from the heat of the day probably uh, in this warm sector. Uh, that we have here we go back to our um, northeastern view here you'll see this is the one you can see that the sun actually did come out in this area it looks like there were, were some uh, breaks in the clouds that was enough to set off a little instability because there's a pretty juicy air mass and uh, it's like a really small warm sector here uh, that uh, they are in right now uh, so 
we're pretty much stuck in this pattern uh, and it, it sucks and uh, we're going to look and see when we're gonna possibly get out of this pattern um, we'll first start with the surface GFS map uh, as we look at this cutoff low and you can see it's just not gonna go anywhere it's gonna slow just sit over the Great Lakes uh, for tomorrow so pretty much we've got this northeasterly flow I don't think we see the warm sector um, if we wanted to visualize the warm sector in another way we could visualize it with Ventu Sky as well uh, where you can clearly see the warm sector show up right over here uh, there it is over Delmarva too Delmarva also in the warm sector as well uh, but yeah, you can see that there they have these light winds from the southwest here we've got the stronger east winds they're actually pushing this warm front back uh, so uh, temperatures will probably wind up dropping and this this actually might be the cause of some of these thunderstorms getting set off it's actually this bat this warm front's really starting to act more like a backdoor cold front and actually moving back uh, and setting off these storms um, so move this along you see we still got that chance of rain tomorrow we get a little break Tuesday as the the upper level low sort of splits. There's another piece of it over this part of the Great Lakes. Then this other low spits, splits moves offshore. So we're dry on Tuesday and at least part of Wednesday. And then uh, the rain could come back in the picture later Wednesday evening. And this is now a change. We have more rain now for Thursday. This low is actually another low. It's like because it's just sitting over us, this area of troughiness. Another low forms off the east coast, and this is a surface low, and it, it just literally sits over us. And it, we're going to get a little close to this because this is quite interesting. It's going to sit over us. It's going to be quite cold. There may even be some snowfall in certain parts. You see a little blue there for Friday morning. Again, the, of course, it could change again. Like I said, it could change again. Um, and then it finally tries to get out of here by the weekend. Uh, but you can see all this troughiness, and, and this is just leading to lots and lots of unsettled weather. Maybe we get out of it later on in the month, maybe, but we're just dealing with lots of troughiness. And again, if you look at the upper air, you're, you see all this troughiness that we've got, that we've got going on. Um, and you can see it's just sitting around. There's, uh, there's the one that moves out, get a little break. The next one moves in. This would be the stronger storm uh, for... Uh, for uh, Thursday into Friday, and then that moves out, and then another one moves in. So you're literally dealing with this uh, troughiness. And it's not unusual for, for April to see this kind of thing. I mean, April, that's why it's April showers bring May flowers, because usually April is kind of an unsettled month. Uh, you know, the severe weather, that's unusual, but uh, unsettled weather in April is not. Uh, we've seen this a lot. Uh, let's go look at the European model and see if uh, uh, how they look as far as that goes. So... Here we go, and here is the European model. It does push that out. We get a dry day on Tuesday, but then here comes the next one, Thursday into Friday. Uh, and that looks like quite an intense storm that's going to form there. And then the troughiness just hangs around, as you can see. So that means, you know, we're going to be dealing with low, colder temperatures and lots of precipitation uh, and uh, maybe some breaks in between. Hopefully we can get a few sunny days here and there. Uh, but it's, it doesn't look all that great. So let's take a closer look at the GFS now. <clears throat> as far as the surface goes. Uh, and you'll see that chance of showers for tomorrow. And that lasts into the first part of Tuesday. So when all is said and done, how much more rain will we see? Uh, we we'll probably could see, like I said, close to an inch of rain. Which is needed because we've been below normal with precipitation. And uh, you don't want to have too uh, dry April because that could be really, really bad for... Uh, the wildfire season, but it's dry Tuesday, and I think Wednesday we can eke out another dry day, uh, and then Thursday here come the showers, and uh, this is gonna, this is what's gonna happen. This storm is gonna form just south of Long Island, and it's gonna linger. Literally, it has it sitting over Long Island, and just to our north and west of the Hudson Valley, you'll notice some heavy snow there. So even some areas of some parts of area couldn't even get snow out of this. Of course, this is a ways away, so again, things can change. I'm not gonna, you know. It could, it could, it was forming offshore and it missed us. It was suppressed. Now it's back in the picture, so it could go back the other way again. But just for fun, let's look at the total snowfall. And you could see some areas north and the west could see a foot of snow, perhaps. So we might see a little snow. And it's awfully close to our area, too. So it's just something we're going to have to keep an eye on. Uh, and if you look at the total accumulated precip, that storm will definitely give us a lot of precipitation, at least another inch on top of the rain that we already had. Uh, we can go to the 24-hour accumulated precip here. Uh, no, not snowfall. 24-hour 
accumulate a precip uh, and you, we could see how much rain that could give us and that could give us one to two inches of rain uh, so we are going to make up for this drought uh, in the next couple of days in a quick way I think uh, and uh, it's it's just you could sort of see these storm systems here just one and then the next one here this is the one that we have to watch here uh, that looks quite impressive, but again, we'll have to keep on it, but there's definitely a chance for a significant coastal storm, uh, and uh, there could be some pretty strong winds with this storm, too, because you should notice how deep uh, the uh, deep the uh, low was there. Uh, so let's look at the wind here, and we'll see the wind around this storm here, and you can see, yeah, there's some wind around it for sure. You can see that. There it is, sitting over the east end. It's very unusual. To, what is unusual is to have this low just form and then just form like that and just sit there and then just move away like that it's kind of that is kind of weird to say the least uh we'll go ahead and look at the temperatures next um so as we head into your monday you could see that cold air that cold marine air entrenched pretty much uh that warm front is 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 pretty much stuck over here so we're gonna all new jersey the whole tri-state area we're only gonna be in the 40s tomorrow it's gonna be chilly and raw uh, and then for Tuesday, we see some recovery back into the mid and upper 50s, maybe 60 degrees in New Jersey. Uh, and then even warmer on Wednesday, uh, it's showing some real warmth. I guess it's having this would indicate that we would have enough sunshine to get us some uh, warmer air. Maybe we get into that warm sector a little bit. We'll have to look at the dew points and see. Uh, and then Thursday, once again, we're colder. And then there's that really cold low that is going to drop the temperatures down. We may struggle to reach 40 on Friday, folks. That's how cold it's going to be. So that's pretty chilly. That's quite a significant anomaly. Uh, if we were to look at the temperature anomaly chart, you can see that already, that that is quite a significant temperature anomaly right there um, that we would be dealing with. And then uh, that slowly pulls out. We stay kind of cool for the weekend, 40s, maybe 50, uh, and then warming back up by a little more by Sunday. But you can see that's the pattern we are in. Uh, so, yeah, let me look at the dew points because this, this kind of illustrates things pretty nicely as well. You could see, look at that. Uh, there's the lower dew point air. I mean, it's not dry air because it's marine. It's cold marine air, but it is lower dew point than in the warm sector. Um, and uh, those dew points stay down for Tuesday. Uh, light north winds. And then Wednesday, uh, we still have low, lower dew points. So, yeah, it looks like Wednesday would be warm because we'll have more of a westerly flow, I guess. Uh, and then you could see that next storm system forming right there. So uh, let's go look at some of the other models here for, in regards to the precipitation that we'll be dealing with. HRRR, I don't have much of the 0Z in, so we're going to have to use the 18Z. Uh, and th this also shows the 2.0. Now it's a higher resolution model, and you can clearly see where the cooler air is coming in. Here it is. Uh, the draw the cooler air it's not dry dry air but it's cooler at least it's not you're not dealing with the humidity that you would be dealing with down uh down further south let's look at the at this and see and you could see look at that warmth there that's over delmarva uh, you could see look at the cold air advance in as we look in tomorrow you could see that the colder air this maritime polar air is that's the uh, sort of that's the classification for this kind of air mass uh, makes its way down a little further south and west into Delmarva and parts of south central Pennsylvania. Uh, so very interesting to see that. And this is Tuesday, by the way, with the temperatures. HRRR doesn't really have us that warm, which is interesting. It only has us in the uh, struggling to reach 50 degrees. At least this is as of 18, so a little warmer in Jersey. It still pretty much has a similar setup here, uh, which leads me to believe I'm wondering if this HRRR actually dries us out for Tuesday. It does dry us out for Tuesday. You can clearly see there's that low kind of just spiraling away there. Uh, so when we look at the showers, you'll see we'll still have scattered showers tonight. Bands of scattered showers in, right into tomorrow. Um, scattered showers. It's not going to be a dry day. It won't be raining all day, but there'll be scattered showers around. And then the scattered showers finally end uh, probably after midnight. And then it starts to dry out. Um and if we look at the HRRR, uh, as far as the rainfall goes, total rainfall, uh, it could have some areas getting up to another inch of rain. We'll have to see uh, what happens with that. Uh, you know, speaking of that, let me put the rainfall on this so we can take a look and see how much rain we've gotten. It's probably not that much, but uh, let's go see. We'll move this up to midnight. Let's see how much rain uh, has fallen here. No, that's, yeah, that should be right, midnight, yeah. 
Uh, we'll get this to load. Come on. All right. So, yeah, it's not that much. It's about a quarter of a 3.35. Some areas a little more, actually, around the city, 0.75 stat around Staten Island. So some areas in central Jersey got closer to a half an inch, maybe. Uh, looks like New Jersey's got a little more closer to a half an inch. But more rain is coming. Uh, so uh, we'll go back to this. Um, and so, I mean, that's that's what the h r shows. I pretty much agree with that. Uh, we can look at the... Uh, NAM 12 as well, and a uh, similar type of deal. NAM 3. Similar. See, though, it has like the heavy rain in like a band. So uh, that that's kind of interesting to me. So let me uh, put this back to this so you get an idea. This is the NAM 3. Uh, so you can see uh, it's showery precipitation that we're going to have tomorrow. But you can see there are some thunderstorms. It looks like it tries to make some of these thunderstorms get into New Jersey, but that marine air is going to kill any thunderstorms of it but you could have a pretty steady rain out of it at least and you could see it kind of just stalls that rain over us and then pushes it back southwestward almost so it's just kind of strange the way it's all built in it's like a backdoor hide that's going to like try to build in or something to bring us that dry day on tuesday i think uh so hopefully we can get that uh let's go now to all right so you get the idea of what what we're going to be dealing with we're dealing with another rainy day tomorrow with showers so keep the umbrella handy it's not going to be nice to walk around uh, for sure, though, maybe uh, later on in the evening, it'll start drying out uh, as we push this off to the south and the west and then south. So kind of strange how that all moves away like that. Um, so let's look at the skies. I guess we'll do that. Use the sky uh, sky forecast here and see where, where it's going to possibly clear out. Uh, because Tuesday is going to be your best bet of seeing the sun. So uh, here's Tuesday. You can see that backdoor high building in. Uh, but uh, it's still giving up, putting some clouds over the area. So I don't know if these are going to be high clouds or low clouds. Uh, let's see. These would be lower clouds. Okay. So, yeah, this would be lower clouds that it would form. So cumulus probably, marine strata cumulus probably would be uh, with these clouds probably. Um, so we'll go back to the total. Uh, and it looks like it has more clear sky over New Jersey, but this this could be overdone, uh, possibly. Uh, I'll have to look at some of the other cloud models. Uh, but Tuesday's your best bet of getting some sun, because after that, we're going to deal with more clouds again. Uh, I'll look at the RGM. This is the RGM. Let's go to that RGM here. So you clearly see that tall front very easily on this RGM, but you can see that little backdoor high tries to build down for Tuesday and bring us some sunshine and hopefully maybe we can get a clear day out of that which would be nice or a mostly sunny day that's like I said that's your only day because then Wednesday you're gonna have more of these clouds these are probably more high clouds than anything but it won't be as there won't be as much sunshine on Wednesday and then we got more clouds from that next system coming in um, we can also use look at the GFS which of course is lower resolution so you can see that little bit of uh, clear sky, but uh, as far as a nice blue sky, I don't know when we're going to see that. Our best chance of it would be Tuesday, but I don't know if we're going to see that or not. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell at this point, um, but that's our best chance of seeing at least some blue sky. Because after that, we're dealing with lots of clouds. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there's that system still sitting over us Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You know, it's just not a good pattern for good. This is like one damn system after another so april tends to be a cloudy month and uh, it looks like it's kind of living up to its reputation uh being kind of a cloudy month well, maybe a little more so than the average but again this is what you have with these these kind of weather patterns uh that we get with let's just go back to windy.com uh so we can look at that's that the european model uh and uh, we we're gonna go ahead and look at the european model in fact i want to do a look at the ventu sky and just look at this cape level so you can see there's the cape on the on there this is the cape this is through the h triple r model and this is the cape for tomorrow uh, not really a whole lot of cape for tomorrow no i don't see it and th there is then again that marine air it's that's going to keep us stable i don't think we'll see any uh thunderstorms at all but we will be dealing with these winds and uh, you know winds from the east you know, may have possibly gusting between 20 and 30 miles an hour with the rain is not going to be pleasant, obviously. Um, so, yeah, back to windy.com. Let's get rid of that. And uh, let's look at uh, the uh, cloud situation for... This is the European. So let's see the European shows. 
I see it's showing some light precipitation over us. You can see it's not really showing anything heavier, but it's, you see, it's, it's just, it's just going to be a, just a rainy day. The showers all around. But this is what happens on Tuesday. You can sort of see that break here. Uh, it tries to get that break over us and clear us out. Weather will see it. Euro says Long Island stuck in the clouds. Maybe New Jersey a little less clouds. Uh, you know, but uh, it all depends on where that break occurs. But that's the only day because we're back in the clouds for Tuesday and then Thursday. Here comes the rain, and that actually looks like a pretty intense line of thunderstorms that's developing. This is at 1 p.m. on Thursday, which is quite interesting. Uh, that is a... What is that? That looks like a line of thunderstorms there. That's, uh... Yeah. Uh, inch an hour of precipitation, so... Uh, that's quite uh, significant there. Well, we can actually put this in here. And this would actually have this as a thunderstorm over here of some sort. Uh, temperatures are kind of cool, though, for a thunderstorm. So this is, uh, but yeah, I see the little lightning uh, signs here. So that would mean a line of thunderstorms, possibly Thursday. This is what the Euro is saying anyway. Um, quite weird to see that. Uh, but I would assume it would be that same idea with that low kind of just sitting. The European looks a little different, maybe a little further south with this system. But obviously Friday, where it's very cold, temperatures only around 40 and I mean if you put new snow into this uh, let me do that oh, snow Let's see if it actually predicts any snow for the next five days and it does up north of the city so we're gonna have an interesting week especially with that Friday Thursday Friday system uh, there's a lot of energy in that and that's that's something that's gonna have to be watched uh, but let's hope we can get some sun on Tuesday uh, because uh, after that it's gonna be another long stretch of no sun and plenty of clouds so that's going to wrap up this weather update. Take care and thanks for watching.